Hi guys, today we're going to be working on this half moon gradient and with Earth Day right around the corner I thought I would use some kind of green shades but this is a design that I've seen on several blogs in a lot of different colors and I'll link a couple of the ones that really inspired me down in the information box if you'd like to check those out. But it's really a very simple design and so if you'd like to see how I did it, just stay tuned. I'm starting off with a base color of Zoya Newt, which is kind of a greenish gray. It's pretty dark, and I think it's probably coming across even darker on camera. And then to create the half moons, I'm just going to be using a half of a reinforcement label. Um, they're just like little round labels that you can reinforce, uh, like hold paper with. And I'm just going to be applying that on the bottom of my nail. Uh, try to get it pretty even and continue that on all of my nails. So I actually did quite a bit of fussing around with these until they were even enough that I was pleased with them. And that's any time you're using tape or stickers, you can always take it up and replace it if you're not happy with where it goes down the first time. For the sponging, I'm going to be using Zoya Tracy as well as Newt. And I've just got a makeup sponge here like I normally use. And I'm just going to get started with a little bit of Newt. And a little bit of Tracy. And I've had some questions whether I use a wet sponge, and I do not. I know some people do, but I don't. And I'm just going to be applying, you know, right after the reinforcer. And this is going to take a couple of coats. Um, you can see Tracy is not real opaque, but you just want to continue um, applying and building up the color until it's where you want it to be and that just comes down to your personal preference you could even just do the sponging with Tracy but I found that it blended a little more if I did Newt as well plus since I only did one coat of it um, for my base color there were some patches that could use a little bit more um, and as you'll notice I'm not taping around the edges of my fingers these polishes are not too hard to um, clean up and remove, so I just kind of lazied out a little bit and skipped that part. So I'm just going to continue on sponging and building up that color on both hands. It took three coats of sponging to get the level of opacity that I wanted, so I'm just going to pull off my little guides to reveal the half moon. And then I'm going to clean up around the edges. So you can see there as it's revealed. And I don't have a whole lot of cleanup to do, but I'm just going to link my cleanup tutorial for you guys so that you can check that out if you want rather than uh, recording that part. If you um, didn't feel like going over to the cleanup tutorial, I'll just mention that I used some polish remover and a Q-tip and a small brush. And now just the final little perfectionist bit since little things bother me. Um, I'm just going to take my small brush and like this one isn't quite as round as the others. I'm just going to 
kind of fill that in to create more of the proper half moon shape and just small spots on the sides sometimes can be hard to sponge um, you know right up to the cuticle so I'm just gonna fill in some of those spots this is totally optional if you are not as OCD as I am then you can certainly skip this part and once I finish this off on my other hand then I'm gonna go ahead and add some top coat So here's the finished manicure and this is a design that really could lend itself well to you know whatever colors you like or if you wanted to have more of the base color showing at the tip. I think it might even be fun to sponge with three colors instead of two over the half moon so maybe I'll do a tutorial for that down the road but like I always say it all comes down to your personal preference. So. Let me know what you think of this design, what colors you might choose, and as always, thanks for watching.